this video will talk about uh, culture shock or the limits of our ability as human beings gamers and it's also um, like an apology video so uh, a few weeks back um, Tim Harper was gracious enough to invite me to uh, to a play by post um, game of uh, the Empire of the Petal Throne from the uh, it's a, it's an old setting uh, an old game uh, one of the first RPGs uh, RPG setting from the mind of uh, Professor Barker um, who is an anthropologist. I think, or an historian, and his world is like thick, man. <laughs> it's thick. Um, there's a digestible version, for, uh, to me at least, of the, the setting uh, that was done by Guardians of Order using the Tristat system and the T20 system. So um, I knew about this, this is the, the setting a little bit and I knew about his reputation but the project interested me and I said yes because often I say, I say no uh, just because I, I know what kind of effort it's going to ask of me but this one this one was Tim and everyone loves the man and, and I wanted to have a, a good time uh, I had some experience with play by post uh, in the past and it never never really took off in my group and I and I I said yes naively so uh, we started to make characters uh, uh, Tim uh, rolled our, the astrological signs of our character and, and as the days progress I was feeling like not contributing and I was feeling lost and I had no point of reference and I was troubled by that but I but I continue I, I kept I kept trying trying hard to uh, to get into the game and reading about Tecumel and, and the world and trying and and this setting is have a reputation and I was ready to to do effort to bypass that that buy-in that is so huge. It's huge just because everything is different. It's an alien setting. The 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 the, the environment, the land, the geography, the history. Uh, the fact that it's a science fantasy game uh, where, where where metal is rare, uh, inspired by Egyptian and Aztecs and African culture, uh, everything is dangerous. You start off as as this level zero bomb peasant and you try to survive basically. So um, so it's a I was ready to make all the effort, but I, as I tried and tried and tried to get into this game, I could not. I could not do it. So I started to uh, analyze myself. I was like, why? Why cannot jump into this game and have fun? And and then the game properly started, and and Tim wrote like a, a big paragraph. And then I hit the wall, I just hit it flat. And I was like, I cannot do this game. I cannot do it. I'm not good enough. And you see, for me as a GM, I like to challenge myself. Like talking here in English a couple of years ago, it was unthinkable. It's just. I know how to read English. I spoke. I, I speak a little bit of it. I have an accent. I try my best to hide it, but it's an effort. It's an effort to talk in a, into another language. So in my analysis, I, I was uh, 
quickly reminded of some weaknesses or limits that I have. First limit, language. When I was hit with this wall of text, I had to copy it into Google Translate to get the full meaning of it. And it was like studying a text. I know Tim did it for, for flavor, and you're supposed to do that on a play by forum. It's, it's a written media. You're supposed to do this this, this way. You, you, you're supposed to make stuff read good, like a novel. So first limit was, di was the language. It was like, I'm not proficient enough in English. I, there is some turn of phrase, there is some... I can't, I'm reading this and I, I have to read it like three times and translate it in Google Translate just to make sure I, I got it all. So that was the first, the first barrier of entry. Second barrier is the setting itself. Tecumel is, it has earned its reputation. It's not an easy setting by far. And I'm sure if you take out the language barrier, there's a lot of English people who will never play Tecumel just because of the setting. It's so alien. It's, it's not easy to get into the setting. And it's hard for a GM to make it easier for a player because everything is figured out in this setting. The, 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 the calendar, everything is weird and already made up. So if you say, I'm going to use Tecumel at it as it is, well, if a player asks you, like, uh, what's the temperature? Oh, you, you, you have to go into the weather, <laughs> weather chapter and you can give, like, Temperature in uh, in uh, in local degree, not Fahrenheit or Celsius. You have a measure, of, you have a unit of measure for temperature in the local language. It's like oh, so that so that was a, a, another uh, another barrier. And uh, I think a third barrier was the 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 the, the OSR thing. I understand what an OSR game, I ran some of these games. You're supposed to start like at level zero and you're, tr you're supposed to, to survive. And I'm not really an, o an OSR guy, guy. I'm a generic system guy. I'm a simulationist. Um, I'm not a narrativist. Um, I was very tempted to write was my what my character was doing like in very technical term like I'm doing my watch on the boat and I watch over the horizon period and the other players started to wrote like beautiful text about what their character were were feeling and thinking and and I don't I don't play like that <laughs> I, I'm a show don't tell guy. I'm if my character is sad, I I'm not used to say my character is sad and wrote about why he is sad. I will just act sad and do sadness into some action I will do. I will try to show that my character is sad, but I will not tell why because the other character don't have the omniscient point of view. It's something secret for my character, and my character is not obligated to say why he is sad. That's how a real person acts. And that's why I'm a simulationist. I see things like... The, it's more naturalistic for me. So. In the written form, it's very boring. I'm boring as a written person. I'm very boring. So, uh, so yeah, uh, just one of these barrier would have uh, prevent me to participate in this game. But three barrier like this, I was like punched in the feet and yeah.
so it's it it was it was a culture check a reality check on my abilities it was a numbling experience <laughs> uh, sometimes i i just i just challenge myself and sometimes it's it's it it comes easily but this time try to imagine the difficulty of pick a language you know shit about like german or russian or or portuguese and say i'm going to play in portuguese and i'm going to play on a forum and i and imagine that you're like dyslexic and you have difficulty to write and then add on top of that you're gonna play into this massive setting and you'll have to study it just to f have an idea in your head of how things uh, can possibly be in this world so try to imagine that it was like so in a sense I made the right call I I'll, I, I did not wrote my first action into the game I just turned over to Tim and wrote him like I cannot do this <laughs> I must have been looked like a not a slacker but somebody who just abandoned but for me it was not pleasant and I was not going to spoil the fun of the other players I was not going to do that so it was the right time just before the beginning of the game to admit defeat and just say to Tim I cannot do this and I'm sh pretty sure I could I could not make it it's it's too much barrier and w and you my viewers you you are human like me and you have your limits and it's hard sometimes on the ego to just BAM to <laughs> <laughs> to realize your limits but uh, I guess the message would be we must do it anyway we, we must go at first into some project and if it doesn't work we have to tell it and we have to say it and not leave people without an answer and, and in a sense I would like to Say, say again to Tim that I'm sorry I couldn't I couldn't I would have loved to, to play with Tim but not an OSR guy not a Tikimol guy and not an English guy and and not a forum guy and oh I was such a not the best pick for this game <laughs> so uh, yeah that, that was my rambling about limits my limits and uh, yeah, sometimes we have to put a knee on the ground and learn from 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 not our mistake, but from the realization of our mistakes and and yeah, limits. But but I will I will continue to to try to uh, get involved in some project. But I want to make sure now that I can gel with the system. I can have um, um, I can make a character that I have some control over, over it I'm not huge into the random thing it's fun but in an OSR game the choices are so not an OSR guy yeah. so probably not next OSR project I'm just going to avoid it just because I, I don't want to spoil the fun no everybody so um, I'm just rambling here so I'm gonna cut it so thanks for watching um, yeah limits